business. Uh, businesses are kind of like stories, but they have a the, the cool alternate twist on them, which you have to pay in order to get them. This one is 100,000 credits, and then off of the back of that, um, you then every time you log into the game, you make a, you, you get a payment based on how many of these stars you've managed to earn in it. So um, should we go? Matt, yeah, Matt's at the wheel. Jump right in. Cool. Yeah, so the, kind of, the story here is Joel has, Joel has a friend called Aisha who, who's trying to start this taxi business. The aim of the taxi business is to be the world's fastest so taxi your business. So went well? Um, it did. And oh, yeah, so basically you'll, you'll, tra you'll travel the, the length and breadth of the country, picking up lots of colourful characters, all of which have got a, there be a, a quite cool and quirky oh, personality oh. traits, and you'll have to get them to, to their destination. So yeah, as you see, always on time, I should talk to you. So don't mess it up, Matt. <laughs> no pressure, right? <laughs> but um, you've, you've wasted six seconds looking at that. <laughs> it's fine, I'll fair. I can wait a second. Because um, this taxi is fast. Yeah, this, uh, so yeah, so this is not the first, the first, the first mission you do is just in a, a stock Austin FX4 taxi. Um, and and you, you're able to complete that one, it's fine, but then Aisha feels that in order to really push, push the boat out and, and really achieve that goal of being the world's fastest taxi company, you need some choice upgrades. So this one's got the engine from a, a Ferrari F50 GT, um, which <laughs> gives it a bit of a kick, <laughs> to say the least. And this amazing body kit on it as well. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that at first, yeah, you're right. Um, so just heading into Ambleside now, uh, picking up this fare. Yep. And it's, it's very uh, in the style of Horizon, isn't it, to, uh, to stick a crazy engine in a taxi? It is, it is, of course, it's not. I mean, look at that thing. <laughs> Unlike real life, the, the speed traps here give you fame and fortune rather than pe uh, penalty points on your license, so <laughs> why not stick a Ferrari engine in a taxi? Next fare is a London cab driver. So, so as Aisha has helpfully teed up there, uh, this, this chap that we're giving a lift to is himself a taxi driver, and he's quite strongly opinionated on on how a taxi should be run. And he's going to start off by letting us know that we're not quite up to snuff. <laughs> but as long as uh, I'll, uh, I'll do my best. So impress him. Bit of wheel spin off the line. Uh, Sounds like he should be advertising better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he's uh, he starts off quite cocky, doesn't he? Thinking that you don't know what you're doing. You, you're a you're new to the taxi game, and in truth, probably are new to the taxi game, but you've got a, a car with a, a bit of a secret weapon. Yeah, that's right. And we're not limited to uh, the roads here, I'm actually <laughs> cut across country. Would you say this is quicker? Well, yeah, it feels quicker. Penetrate. It's probably quicker if you don't roll it. <laughs> there's, there's, there is always that risk. Okay. There we go. I'm going for the three stars. Do you know what the goal is for three stars? Yeah. Uh, 20, I think. I'm about to say, it seems about one and a half, I think. Ooh. And the goal is to go really fast, I know that much. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things about these ones that uh, that adds, adds an extra little bit of spice is uh, that you can't overshoot the ending. You have to come to a stop at the end location. Yep. I think, I think you've impressed him. Did you um, get three stars though? Yeah, you did. You did. did. <laughs> In the bag. Top driver. Nailed it. Ten out of ten. <laughs> well, three out of three. Five out of seven. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all, all of the perfect scores. So. <laughs> um, that's going to load us back. Um, yeah, so I think, like I said, we. We've got quite a few more stories in the can, and there's quite a few coming over the next few updates. But this is one that I think we've been really excited about since mm. since the very start of the uh, of development. We we had this idea for this feature, and um, and this was the very first one that we sort of wrote up into a feature. It was uh, this. It was I think the, the goal was given to us: if you can make taxi driving fun, then we believe in the feature, and you'll be able to make <laughs> all the other stuff fun. Was this the one you wanted to it do? It was next? the Edinburgh run. Yes, let's go. Nice. So the good thing about this one is it's not all about just getting there in the shortest amount of time possible, is it? This passenger wants to go as fast as possible, doesn't mind about the time so much, it's all about the speed skills, right? Exactly, yeah, so it's all about finding those straight roads and absolutely flooring it. I'm not sure if... Oh, what am I talking about? 
Aisha's taxis comes to a standstill without you. Sorry, um, but can we please get back to basics? Taking people from point A to point B. Very, very quickly. Can you imagine if you were waiting for a taxi and they turned up in a race suit and a helmet? <laughs> like, um, <laughs> you'd be questioning the safety. <laughs> Then again, there's probably some stuff in our character personalities that would really make you question your safety more. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> suit. <laughs> some gold help I'm sure that's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to seeing the pictures on Reddit. Yeah, so one of the uh, one of the great things as well about this story, which I'm sure will really, really please people, um, is that in order for completing this, for getting all the stars in this story, you will earn this car, the. Uh, the Austin FX4, which up to this point had been exclusive to Wheelspin and as such, very, very, very difficult to get hold of and mm. fetching over 10 million on the auction house. So if you already got one, I would say I would suggest that you sell it on the auction house now. <laughs> <laughs> Pro tip, inside as soon as, as, soon as, soon as possible. <laughs> it's not insider trading because it's public now. But um, <laughs> when I sold mine last week, it probably was insider trading. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really do that, I didn't really do that, should be clear. <laughs> Um, yeah, so if you already own one, sell it. If you don't already own one, don't buy it. Wait until this update and you can earn it through gameplay uh, in this story. Yeah, so this fair is an absolute speed demon. And as Matt, as Matt queued up earlier, she wants you to earn speed skills on the way, so... Uh, let's let's test, test Matt's metal. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so this one I probably do want to stick to the roads to make sure I can get up to speed. Yeah. So I think speed is 150 miles an hour for uh, five seconds. Yeah. Um, yeah. Would you say that's the easiest skill speed, uh, speed skill even? Oh, you can. Yeah. For, it depends on how fast you're going. So I think it's 150, 175. Oh, okay. 190, 200, I can't remember the exact boundaries for them, but yeah, there's different different speeds that you're going, you hold that speed for a certain number of seconds and it gives you the skill. Yep. So we've got so. this wind a bit at the beginning, once we get onto the uh, other so side of the, the, uh, the reservoir we can open it up a bit. Can just blitz it. Yeah. So I'll say open it up a bit, I'm already doing 150 miles an hour in a taxi. So. Uh, LaFerrari16 Jr. Uh, has obviously missed the start of the stream and is asking if these race suits are coming to the game. Uh, Matt, you answered that earlier, so I'll let I you did. answer it again. Yes, we've added some uh, modern race suits and helmets. They're going to be uh, available in the Forzathon shop and in some of our seasonal championships that are coming up in Series 5 as rewards. So get them while they're hot. Yeah, yeah they won't be, around for, won't be around forever, so make sure you don't miss out on those. Uh, El Darioth. Wow, how many regional voices is Sports are going to give us? Can't be many left. Oh, we've got loads left in the can. Do not worry, do not worry. The, the UK does not disappoint when you need to source extra regional accents. Yeah, <laughs> There's many more where this came from. Uh, but yeah, it, it, it was something we wanted to do in this, in this uh, story in particular. We wanted to uh, give, give life to all the different uh, colourful dialects and stuff that you find in the UK. So we roped in a lot of extra actors and had them all do different, different <laughs> accents and stuff to, uh, to, to just make these feel like you're really travelling the length and breadth of the country. So I got up to like 200 miles an hour there. Oh, nice. Three miles. Uh, I must say, I'd be a bit worried if uh, <laughs> I was in a taxi doing 200 miles per hour. Well, no, it's like that. You, well, that's the aim for this you one. Call, you you called Aisha's taxi. Yeah, you know what you signed yeah, up yeah, for. Well, you've been, <laughs> been, been time. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is chapter nine in the story, by which point Aisha's taxi has become really renowned and people thrill seekers because they're coming from the world over to, 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 to be driven by you. Yeah, to be driven by you because you've become really famous. So. Uh, it starts off and you really terrify people, and then it, by the end of the by the end of the story, you're being sought out in particular because some thrill ride. Yeah, exactly, exactly. No. So I'm just looking at the clock. I think we have time, so we're going to finish this chapter. We'll have time for one more, and that'll probably be all we've got time to show on uh, on this new story. But do not worry, um, if you're with us, if you're with if you're with us live, then the um, then turn, then turn 10 over in Seattle, I've got our friend Torben Ella over there. Oh He'll no. be, oh no. no. <laughs> let's, uh, let's pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> we'll be doing an even bigger deep dive on this, on this feature and we'll be showing you a few more chapters and be able to really talk into the, the genesis of how, how this came to be in the game. So uh, yeah, don't go anywhere. Keep watching us. The uh, Forza Multi stream over in Seattle follows us directly after this stream. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do it. Well, that time. Oh. 
oh, comment wow. over and discuss yeah. it. Good luck racing at the festival. I'll be oh, cheering man. for you. Let myself down. Only two. Yeah. There's only one speed to go She'll off, getting the third one. Never mind. Which is something coming in uh, update six, isn't it? Not in update five. It is a, it's been kitted out to basically be a rally monster, hasn't it? So it's got really fat tyres, <laughs> yeah. uh, a, ra a rally engine. You really do need the helmet for this one. Yes, you do. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so this is one of the great things we've been able to do with this story, I think, is that each chapter sort of uh, fit in its own little, own little niche and offer its own little type of gameplay, which you probably wouldn't expect from a, uh, a taxi mission in a game. I think it really does pack, pack in a load of surprises. So, um, obviously, we've just shown you a few of the chapters here. There's loads more in the, in the final thing you'll be able to play on Thursday, I think I'm right saying. Yes. Yes. Well, the update drops Tuesday. The update drops Tuesday, story goes live Thursday. Is that right? I think so. Looking for, looking for, looking say, for confirmation. A lot, a lot of people been asking. Goes live with the update. It goes live on ah. Tuesday. There you go. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, you'll be able to play this tomorrow once this update comes out. Um, yep, have at it. Let us know what you think. Um, Hiya, I'm headed for a house on Derwent Water, please. First day and night at the festival have been incredible. Now it's time for the after party. Right, so this, this fair needs to get to the after party. Mm. Super fast. And she's called you to get her there, so... She's all miss out on them drinks. <laughs> so Non-alcoholic drinks, this is a, oh, a yeah. three-plus three game. <laughs> so we, we cannot imply alcoholic usage. Uh, <coughs> oh dear. Non-alcoholic fruit punch, I think. Could be a lamp party. Could be a good lamp party. So I'm going to... Oh, I'm you're going off-road? I'm going to go on this road. Ooh, nice. Guess what are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm a madman. <laughs> <laughs> Chooses his own roads. <laughs> And then you not, I hope you know what you're doing. I'm about to say, I, will you get here in time? Yeah. Can't make a late. I'm going to put the off-road kit to good use at the very end. Ooh. We're dodging all the trees, you see. Oh, <laughs> not the cars, though. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say, I've got Matt's gone completely off-script here. This wasn't, this, <laughs> was, this, was, this wasn't planned for. If it goes wrong, he's, he's himself to blame. Here we go, look. This is where you, get, this is where you cut across. I'm ah, giving you, there we go. I'm giving you some pro tips here. That's, that's tips of the day. <laughs> the trees are less dense here, so. Although, this Ooh. has every opportunity to go <laughs> to go very wrong. We're fine, we, we made we it. To hold Somehow that. That we was, made it. That was close. <laughs> <laughs> totally meant to do that. Thank you. Planned it. Alrighty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's Aisha's tactic.